Oh. Rain, you made it. Rufus, I'm so glad you're all right. <laughs> and the same to you. Another barrier? Do you see anything on your side that could get it down? Hmm. Maybe that little computer thing there? Could that be for this platform? This might take us right up to the central terminal. We have one over here too! I think both sides need to activate them for the platforms at the same time! So the time's finally come. But, given all we've gone through to get here... Can't picture it letting us go up that easily. Yeah. Should we still try it? If it's our way forward, it's our way forward. Kia, and Lapis too. Care to do the honors? Okay, certainly. Wait, I can sense something. Yeah, coming from a Selge away. Weapons out! What the hell are these? I think we've seen these guys before. I was never under the illusion that this ride would be a peaceful one. But these are all that stand between us and the Central Terminal. Then our goal is simple. That's right, kill him good! These here are our last steps before the end. Counting on you guys! Right! Threat level, high! <laughs> you vile! Are you okay? <laughs> Thank you, of course! All right. Very well. They're in to go. Vile, I'm going. Come, all right. Stay strong, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, how nice. Yeah. Very well. Arcus, of course. Death awaits you! Come. My turn now. Thank you! It's my turn! Beginning analysis. Analysis complete. I'm going. Come. Perfect. Following us. <laughs> now then. Let it resound. Dark Requiem. <laughs> now then. Activating. Ha! Very well. It's my go. <gasps> of course. To shred. <laughs> now then. It's my go. Commencing there. Leave it to me. Very well. Arc is activated. This will perfect. Following us. Huh. Okay. Let it resolve. 
sound! Dark Requiem! Raring to go! Park is back! I'm going! To Shrek! Now! Following up! My turn now! Arcus activate! Raring to go! Arcus activate! My turn now! Arcus activate! Leave it to me. My turn now. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. All right. Let it resound! Dark Requiem! Raring to go! Arcus activate! <laughs> now then! Arcus activate! Yeah. There! Of course! Yeah. My turn now! Activating okay. Drive! Now then. Arcus activate. Ready to go. Commencing drive. Yes! I'm going. Yes! Perfect. Following up. Yeah. Enemy neutralized. On to the next. I need to keep up. <laughs> I've done it! <laughs> but of course. Nice! <laughs> this could get bad. Watch out. So I pray. Testament cross! Showtime. Three. Ah, uh, done. All right. Arcus activate. Okay. Let's go. Here to play. Ha. Ha. I'll restore I you. I love you. Ha. Got you. Done. Down. It's not. I'm going. Arcus, activate. I'm here. Arcus, activate. I'll restore I you. I love you. Okay. Let's go. I'm here. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Okay. Let's go. go! I'm next. Three. Ah, uh, uh, done. There. I'm here. Ha. I'm going. Arcus, activate. Go! I'll restore I you. I love you. And that's all. Now, let's continue onward. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, nice. That'll do. Not much of a surprise. Of course I'd improve. Even perfection can...
Looks like we made it through. Rufus! Ez! Go. Oh. Easy. I can't go easy. I thought I'd never see you again. How could you, Rufus? I never said you could leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you realize that I didn't have the luxury of choice. <laughs> I did worry about whether we'd be able to reunite. Same here. That's on the back all around, team. Oh, I wish those things made it a little easier for us, though. Maybe it wasn't easy, but that just proves how far we've come. Looks like they were the last line of defense, too. And that way must be... Yeah. That room should be where the central terminal is. Mana is flowing with incredible force from within. Amazing we can feel this much with those doors taking the brunt of it. What's the verdict, LP? This is it. Elysium is on the other side. And there can be no doubt. Whatever's inside me is resonating with more force than ever before. I feel like if I let my guard down for even a moment, that'll be the end of me. Oh, how awful. So this here's really our final stop. All the answers we've been seeking are just a few steps away. So let's bust those doors open and get them. And stop the Divine Lightning from firing. Hmm, if my thinking is right. You okay, Lloyd? What's on your mind? It's nothing. As soon as we're ready, we should go. This is most likely going to be our final battle. New visitors registered. Visitors reinvigorated. It's massive. 
What an incredible structure. So that high point is where this tower fires its divine lightning. You can still hear the battle going on outside through there. They're still putting it all on the line for us. The Zalber Soldat should stop moving after we disable Elysium. Do you see the central terminal? It's that. That looks exactly like... It's a black version of the sonorous seashell. So they really did duplicate it. They must have used the same method to duplicate the Emperor's artifacts. Now we know where the fight to get the shell was a little too easy. It looks like it's fitted to amplify Elysium's power. That would be correct. I have been anticipating your arrival. Welcome, Reed Schwarzer and Class 7. The same to you, Lloyd Bannings, Special Support Section. And to you also, former Governor General Rufus Alberea. Do the bracers. Grawlswinner, to those once with Ouroboros, or the Garden, and a special welcome to you, Elysium's first administrator. You have assembled a fine, formidable crew. <laughs> Knew we'd run into you. <sighs> so he's a replica of Reen's? How does he know about us? Must be playing dirty and using Elysium's power. What? This, this feels somehow different from when we met in the castle. My chest feels really... really... <sighs> what is this? Why? I... I don't understand. What? Why do I feel like this? What's gotten into you all? There's something... very different about this one. He's not like the Divine Blade of Wind or McBurns. The Supreme Leader was a perfect replica of me, but he... Everything about him outside of what we can see of his face is different. But when I look at him, I can't help but feel he has to be Reen. Just... just who are you? I have already answered that question. I am. Huh? His name is still... no. It's as though his very being is somehow distorted. So, I was right. What's that, Lloyd? Lloyd? You figured it out. Now you know the truth behind what's happening, and what stands behind Elysium. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought Elysium alone was at the center of this. Is that not the case, after all? It's not. What we're seeing shouldn't be possible. But the Reen, standing before us is as real as the Reen who stands with us. He's just a version of him had he made a different choice in life. Wait. I don't understand. Neither do I. The basis for my belief stems from what happened two and a half years ago in the Azure Tree. There we learned a truth that shocked us to our core. We learned that every one of us in the SSS had died in battle. The truth weighed upon the little girl left behind. It weighed so heavily upon her that she used the power she possessed to undo their deaths. It was something she should never have done, and she knew it, but she couldn't help it. Kia, the power to rewrite destiny at work. We never had the chance to hear much about that side of events. It happened when we were dealing with the cult then? We only learned of it in the Azure Tree ourselves. That's right. We've got no one to blame but ourselves for not being strong enough to stop it. Then, Mr. Grimwood and Bell went on to try and use that power to remake all of Crossbell. So... so what's happening here is... The world in which we live now is but one of an infinite number of paths history could have taken. The smallest of differences in how we live and act can have massive consequences for the future. Can you think of times where your actions could have led to a radically different future? <sighs> when I took all of the Great Twilight's curse into myself. If we didn't have the Holy Beast's Earth in prison... No. It can't be. Then you're... Who I am. Yes. I am another future 
calculated by Elysium, from the Great Twilight's Curse. I call me Ishmael Kareem. That's a sword of the end? Or a tachi of the end, in this context. Th then you really are... Are you Ishmelga? No. I am Ishmelga no longer. Nor am I Reen Schwarzer. I am what would have been had destiny followed a different course. After the final rivalry, the Ashen Knight and I departed the Imperial Fortress. Beyond the atmosphere could be found a space ruled by naught but an all-consuming darkness. There, Reen Schwarzer and Ishmelga were swept in a vile, unending cycle of fusion and domination, of denying one another's self in a battle for control. This conflict within us birthed a perennial being who had long forgotten what it once was. It was a rivalry staged to never have a victor. All that was left was to wander the darkness and endure the hopeless battle within. That was its fate. That's... awful. How could you endure so much torment? <laughs> Milliam and I couldn't stick with him till the end, huh? We were already at our limit as it was. If we had just done a single thing different... This could have been my future. Elysium made untold calculations to see this potential future, and through it, found evil incarnate in the form of Ishmelga. Is that what eroded Elysium and purged Lapis from its system? Yes, that's how it sounds. You have my thanks, Reen Schwarzer. For what? When I first awakened here, my existence was still unstable. An unending conflict festering within. A two beings who cannot coexist resonate with one another. Assimilate when they meet. That resonance allowed me to break free from my stalemate and establish a self in this world. My existence is a higher being, an amalgamation of Reen Schwarzer and the Great One. <clears throat> so that's why you're here. Then everything you've done here was in order to destabilize Reen's existence and establish your evil in his stead. Your thanks leads me to believe we were destined to come here all along. We may well have. Elysium's existence means our being here could have been within its calculations. Unbelievable. You did manage to surprise me in one way. I had expected the first to reach the truth would be Reen Schwarzer, or Elysium's former administrator. Not a mere police officer. It's all inexperience. You gave me yours. And I used the evidence found from mine to come to a conclusion. Maybe I needed my friend's help laying out the pieces. But it was thanks to them that I had those pieces to put together. I wasn't alone. And that made all the difference. Lloyd. So it's time you talked. What are you trying to do? You're only here because Elysium's calculations found you as an alternate possibility, right? What's your goal here? What drives you to make a mess of the entire continent? A mess? What a peculiar way of putting it. My goal is to save this continent. This world. You thought Elysium finding me was coincidence? It was anything but. Elysium may have been corrupted by my influence. But its goal has remained entirely unchanged. It found precisely what its instincts drove it to find. It sought the hero who ended the Twilight, Reen Schwarzer. And it sought the cause of the Twilight, Ishnaga. All for its goal of uniting the continent and gifting it eternal peace. What? Nothing you've said has made any sense. It's also completely incongruous with your actions. The Great Twilight made clear the imperfections of humanity and the evil that pervades it. 
Elysium knew it would keep inviting upon itself disaster if left to its own devices, and it would not be long before the next. My actions seek to remove the seeds of disaster before they can bloom. Who better to act than one who is the embodiment of evil and the hero who sacrifices himself to bring salvation? Elysium could seek no one finer. Then this tower is for that purpose. Everything that's happened has led to here, it would seem. I stand before you to carry out that which Elysium deemed best after untold calculations. Once the world's recreation is complete, humanity will ascend to its next stage of evolution. You're making quite a number of assumptions. Elysium's nature is to observe and to calculate, nothing more. It can't draw conclusions or understand what's best for this world. And you had better stop acting like it does. Discovering and realizing you was never intended in its realm of possibilities. All you are is a bug in the system. You tell him, Lapis. Phew, she's on fire now. You're very confident in your ignorance. Elysium expelled you for standing in the way of its objective. You aren't half the expert, you. And you aren't half the expert on this world. I... Never realized how much I didn't know till I had my body. I didn't know about all the different kinds of people who lived in Crossbell and Erebonia. I didn't know of the hardships they had to endure just to live their lives, or of the strength they mustered to overcome them. I didn't know how delicious lunch or dessert was. I didn't know they could taste better just by eating them with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was so much in this world that can't possibly be calculated. So, Elysium's logic is flawed. Any conclusion it tries to reach without knowing what I know now can't be anything but. And if it dares to force such a future on us, well, as its former administrator, I'm going to stop it! As if you have the strength. What do you expect to achieve alone? She's not alone. We're right here with her. Now that I know the truth, it's hard to look at you and not feel all kinds of emotions. I wonder if I'm only standing on this side because I was a little bit luckier. Or maybe the karma from that has given me these changes to my hair and eyes. But I'll balance it out by bringing you back, Reen. No one should have to bear the burden of saying goodbye to everyone they love. So I want to free you from your curse. I want to share with you everything our father, master, and loved ones wanted for us. Reen. Not often you get a chance like this. We're going to make you see just how much it hurt to lose you. When our instructor's down, it's up to us to cheer him right back up. It's funny how much they're like us. Yeah. Becoming Junior Bracers helped us form so many wonderful connections. They started in Liberal, then they grew to Crossbell, and even Erebonia. No man is an island, and our bonds give us the strength to surpass anything life throws at us. You have been behind everything that's plagued Crossbell since the day of the signing ceremony. Ishmelga Reen. We will be placing you under arrest for its illegal occupation and subsequent large-scale terrorism. Only then can we call this case closed. We have no reason to hesitate. As police, as human beings, it's our duty to see this through. We went through a hell of a lot as old co-workers, so I've got no problem knocking you on your ass when you're out of line. Enough. I tire of this. If you insist in standing in the way of this world's rebirth... What? Where'd they...? It's time you learned how heavily your fate rests in my hands. This continent will be united, and it will do so atop your corpses! May we begin the rebirth 
that will save this world. Your end is now. No doubt I'll treat you immediately. You. Here to play. So I pray. Testament cross! It's my turn. is working. <clears throat> you okay, Rain? Their mana is building to impossible heights. Is the assimilation advancing further? <sighs> That's exactly what is happening. A being should not be able to do battle with itself. The act threatens the laws of this entire world. But it won't be long before all is well. For your end will come by my own hands! Descend, O oh most primal and ultimate being! So are Gilstein, the Zeroth Knight! The Zeroth Knight? All of its readings are off the charts! How is this even possible? Wait, if he's Rain and Ishmelga has won, then this knight can only be... 
It's the Great One forged through the final rivalry! This is what Valimar would have become if we had allowed the process to finish. Then it holds the power of all seven knights and of the Fire and Earth Septarions? This isn't anything like what we fought in the Imperial Fortress. Is there anything Elysium can't recreate? How are we supposed to best this? Stop, guys. You can't give up yet! Can you hear me, young ones? We're ready to send what you requested. Set the coordinates! All right. Give us a hand. Of course. Got it. The next step is you, Father Thomas. Now go, machines of man! Branch Campus's Soul Dots! Instructor Reen and Crow's Tearfing units were sent too. It's already been repaired? That's how George and Makarov do it. Is that Golden Helmard? I arranged for an undamaged unit to be configured to my specifications after our battle in the city. When? You've always got something going on. Rufus. I'm simply doing my part. The rest, I'll leave to you. We're counting on you all! Show off a little for us. You got it! What fools. Do you believe those heaps of scrap can defeat two Septarians? We got time to find out! If we coordinate well enough, I'm sure they can. Elysium has calculated your chances of winning. And they are zero. Be as sure as you like, but nothing can change what has been predetermined! <laughs>